Good morning and a happy Saturday. It's Saturday morning, one by morning. It's, it's very loose, it's like 11. So almost not morning. Anyway, our Hungry Harvest box just arrived. So I thought that would be a fun way to kick off the beginning of the vlog. I do have a referral link for Hungry Harvest. It's not a private link that only goes to people who film videos or something obviously like 12 people watch my vlog so that'd be silly it is just a link that anyone gets when they sign up that they can refer their friends so i'll put that down below i think you get five dollars off your first um harvest box and i think i get five dollars towards the box it's really cool they're not all around the country just yet so it is one of those things where you actually could get a few bucks here and there when you get friends to sign up. And honestly, it's just a great company. So a few words about Hungry Harvest. Basically, they take fruit that was grown in excess and couldn't buy at home, or fruit or vegetables. And sometimes actually like products too that are like just out of date. Their expiration date is such that the stores don't want to put it on the shelf even though it's not expired. Um, so they take stuff like that, things that are maybe ugly or too small or too big to stick on the shelves. The stores are just picky about it and they pack it up and you can choose what kind of harvest you get. I think I get the, what's it called? I usually says on here, the full harvest? Yes, I get the full harvest. It's a mixed harvest. Got fruits and veggies in it. I think you can do like a smaller one, and I get it bi weekly. You can select to get it weekly if you want. Uh, I think you can get just fruit or just veggies. You can do all organic. There's a lot of options. So let me show you what I got in mine, and I'll tell you um, some things I did add on, and other things I just always get. So actually, I think the little flap was right here to tell me what things I added on. So. We have some organic lacinato kale. This is something I did add on because I just really like this type of kale. It smells really good. And actually, let me grab my phone because the phone tells you why that item ended up in the box. And by the phone tells you, I mean they send you an email that I can look at on my phone. Okay. So this is... What is this? Is this cabbage? I think this is cabbage. And I believe this was placed in here to replace another item that I have on my do not send list, which is another thing. You can elect to not get certain things. So I don't get grains or like butter lettuces. Like what do I have? Collard greens, grapes, and lettuces, and spinach. So I don't get collard greens because I got collard green once and we didn't do anything with them. Austin likes collard greens, but he hardly ever cooks for himself. So I don't really, I'm not a big fan of them. I, I'm not a big fan of grapes, neither is Austin. And I don't like um, necessarily the way the things are packaged for spinach. It always comes in like a plastic bag and uh, I just don't like that. And then lettuce. It's almost always some sort of like butter lettuce or something, and I'm not a huge fan of butter lettuce. So that's on my do not send list. So it has your do not send list right, I wanna show you this, but it's got my address on it. So it's got like a never list, and that lists out all the items you never wanna have in your box. And so above that, it then indicates what items need to be removed, which is greens, because greens were supposed to come in the box. So instead of that, they give you a replacement item. So my replacement item is which I'm very happy about because all the cabbage I've gotten in the box has been beautiful and that's another thing I wanted to mention if you ever get an item that is just like gross like even if it's like a bunch of items like maybe they sent you seven apples and one of them's bad they'll give you a partial refund for that one apple which is really nice because not so much lately they've been pretty good about it but before when it was still kind of new to the Baltimore area I did get a couple like one-off things that weren't great and they refunded me very easily and they just asked for a picture so they can um try and figure out what went wrong which i don't think is a problem at all because i'm usually emailing them for my phone anyway just snap a picture send it so we have 
peas of some sort, sugar snap peas. And these have a few external imperfections from the wind scarring and crackling on them. So I love these. I like making what I call bougie ramen, which is instant ramen that I just like zhuzh up with some gochujang and miso paste and seasoning and veggies. So I love that. Then we have some celery. The celery was part of the box. The grower sent too many stalks of celery, so we picked up the extras. So excited about that. We've got a whole bunch of oranges. Let me get them all out of the box and then I'll let you know why they ended up in the box. Oh, they're so bright. They're such a beautiful color. The camera's not even catching the true color of them. They are so vibrant. So pretty. Okay, that's all the ones I can see right now. So these are, I think, Cara Cara? Yeah, Cara Cara oranges. The retailer rejected these when the grower sent the wrong size which is ridiculous. So these will have like a pinkish inside. I don't like eating oranges, but I love juicing fresh orange juice. So excited about that. And then I have a bunch ooh, of carrots. I'm guessing these were in here because they're all really big, but uh, let's find out. Let me get them all out of here. And I'll read you that description. A whole bunch of carrots, which is awesome. Scarred, oh, they're scarred. You may see some broken pieces or a variety of sizes. Okay, so that's cool. Next item, grape tomatoes, but I actually added one tomatoes too. But I'm not seeing them. I was supposed to get grape tomatoes in a clamshell, but I thought I added one tomatoes as well. Nope, it's not on here. I must have removed it. Okay, good. That means I don't have to email about something missing, but I thought I ordered extra. I guess I didn't. So these are too many grew. And a lot of times that's what it is. They grow too many and don't have a buyer for them so they buy them instead of them getting wasted blueberries i believe i added on yes and then we have star fruit is there just one there might just be one so star fruit was part of the box these are heavily scarred but just because they're ugly on the outside doesn't mean they're not tasty on the inside Got a star fruit. Avocado were part of the box this week. Usually I add on avocado because it's an item that they seem to always have in their add-on shop. So these avocados, too many grew. So they took the ugly ones. Not bad. I added on sweet potato because it's something we eat a lot of and we were out of it. So I added that one. I'm running out of space to put everything. I also added on garlic because we used up all of our garlic when I made this pasta recipe earlier in the week. Let's see. Pears. I love when they send pears. I love slicing these up and adding them to a salad. So these pears were part of the box. Um, they have super sensitive skin and they can get rejected for light bruising. So they just got like little bumps, not bumps, but like, you know, just little scars on them so they don't look perfect. So that's why they made the box. We have golden potatoes. The store got excited and ordered too many and then cut back the order last minute. So here's another sweet potato. Just a bunch of good, like small, medium golden potatoes. These would be a nice size to chop up and make some mashed potatoes, I think. They look delicious. There's so many. I must have added on a lot to this box because there's like nowhere to put anything else. Did I cover everything that came in the box? I think so. So I added on a few lemons. When you add on lemons, they come three at a time. So got a few of those. Oh, when you add on garlic, it comes two at a time. 
Um, other items are a little more variable, but those are two, since they're staples. I also added on a couple of bell peppers. So that's something we eat a lot of. I added on some radishes and Brussels sprouts. So we made Brussels sprouts these, this week and they were so good, so I kind of wanted more. So that is everything in my Hungry Harvest box this week. It is a lot of food, but we only order every other week and some of these items will last well over a week. Why is it my drawer thing? There we go. Some of these items last like well over a week in the fridge and you can just keep using them for different recipes like sweet potatoes, potatoes, garlic, sometimes lemons, carrots. Like some of these things can last until you get around to them. So, and also there's only two of us so we don't need to order a ton of food. But let me grab the camera and flip you around and show you like physically how much food this is. My coffee did not come in the box. <laughs> That's my North Carolina mug. Really like that. The um, one of the guys I work with actually, whenever he travels, if it's some place he doesn't think I might have, he'll grab one of these at the local Starbucks. He's very nice. We do a trade -Z. He makes his own hot sauce, so sometimes I'll bring him in peppers, which is nice. It's nice to have good coworkers. Anyway. Here's all the food. As you can see, this is a lot, especially for two people. This will last a good long time. And I'm excited, except maybe not the garlic. I go through some garlic. I love garlic. But yeah, I am quite pleased with that haul. So I'm gonna get all this put away, and then I need to get Austin out of bed and moving, because he's got a pile of dishes he needs to do. I don't do dishes. Austin doesn't do laundry. Those are the two things that are absolutely assigned in our family. So, aside from that, anything's up in the air chore-wise, but we, that, those two are very set in stone. Anyway, I'm gonna get all this put away. So I filmed basically my Hungry Harvest haul. I was gonna turn that into a whole weekend vlog, but then I left my camera home everywhere I went. So, this is the end of that video just so there is an end to that video. Thanks for watching. Bye.